it's that time of the day where we get more upgrades. We did have the 82 player picks and I thought, could they really do us nicely and give us 83 player picks? And unfortunately not. We've gone back to the 81 player picks, which it's, it's not the worst thing in the world at the minute. I, I'm just glad that we don't get 80 plus anymore. So it looks like we're going to go on to the 81 to 82 flex and see how that goes. With these, it is eight players, one rare. That's all you've got to give up. So we've built quite a few of them just to get them going. See what the weight's all about. We also, in the upgrades, got three times, and I need to check if it's daily. But we did get the player picks, and I don't know if it's daily or not. I'm judging it might be if it's only got three days. It'd be very weird for them too. We also have the 86 double that's still there as well. And also with the 82 times five. So we're looking pretty good for upgrades. And then we also did get Battle, who is quite a decent card to be honest. 95 rated. Not that too expensive at about four, five hundred thousand. Might be worth a look in. But the main thing is, are the 81 plus player picks even worth it? So we're going to start off with the 85. We've got three of them. Hopefully we can get a big one. Bellingham, he's got to be around somewhere. The Are you looking for coins to improve your team? Then you need to head over to lootbar.gg. The most reliable and the best coin service you can find. Also, they have incredible 24-hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on lootbar.gg, make sure you are using JT11 to get 8% off coupon. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed. Also, with the code, you'll be able to get 5% more coins on every transaction. Make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below. First one. Oh, okay. We got an 89. We'll take it. But we're going to take Benzema just because I've got the other one. So we've got one technically. Another one. Okay. We take Garcia. Nicely. Can we go three for three on Team of the Seasons? We cannot. It is going to be a strikeout of 85s. So, uh, to be fair, I would say that's not bad. For an 84 rated team, I believe, on all of them, it's not awful. Then we've got the rest of these 81 player picks. Now, I must admit, I really did enjoy the 82s. I felt like the weight was so much better. The 81s and 80s have been atrocious for me. And by the looks of it already, we're three picks in and we've only had one 83 so far two it's not a great look to be honest that that's kind of why i really like the 82s because you just you're almost guaranteed an 83 you normally get one rating higher at the minimum so it's it's kind of up there but diaz we take i'd be interested though because there weren't many team of the seasons from all of them so this could change the look maybe i hope at the very minimum we know we've got the 86 doubles that we can do from all of these as well come on how many Team of the Seasons can we get, though? That's going to be the big question, because I think so far in a run of about 30 to 40, we've had, like, one, maybe two Team of the Seasons, and that might have included the 84 player picks or the 83 player picks. So hopefully we can get it at least one. I think out of 50, if I don't get one, I'd be a little bit annoyed, especially with getting 81 and 82s. I think one, one has just got to be enough. We have got, four, well, technically we've got 47 of them because obviously three others are obviously the lovely 85 picks. And I'm hoping we get them daily because they actually weren't terrible. To get a team of the season, two out of three, you never know. Take a Bernardo Silva, obviously duplicate because why not? He seems to be in everything as well. Why is all my 84s duplicate? I thought I've got rid of loads of them. Apparently not. Got an 83 finally. So we've had an 89 and an 88. Not many 85s. Another 80. Got a few 84s to be fair. We'll, we'll say that. But we need to find that team of the season. That is what I want. How many have I got here? I mean, we haven't got loads. I, I must admit, I'm getting a bit worried that we're not even going to get one. And I'd take even a bad one at this point. The one that I do want is going to be that uh, Victor. Victor looks incredible. The Swedish striker. That or Bellingham. So... High hopes, you know, you got to keep them high. We have managed to get Vinny, so very happy on that one. There we go. Miguel 92. So, could we be greedy? Somebody got a 4 5. Oh, I think we could be greedy and get another one. What do you reckon? I, I, I think we could. Let me know down below if you've managed to get them. What's, what's your best streak? I'd love a back to back then. Come on. Can we get two? Two would probably be the best I've had from player picks for this entire team of the season. Granted, it's not as if I've been sitting here absolutely ripping picks constantly, but I feel like I've done enough. Mares as another walkout. Nice. Okay. 
To build 50 as well, you've got to have a lot of players. So even the fodder we could put in the exchange, I don't know if we've quite hit the mark here. Maybe the premiums could be the move, to be honest, with these now. Um, the 81 plus player picks, they, they have always been notoriously bad for the past few weeks. So I'm not kind of expecting too much. But if we can get two, it could sway my opinion. Because we've got a lot of low rated fodder more than anything. Finally, Aspas, so we get another 85. Come on, give me one more. One more blue. And take a Bellingham. Or, I don't even know who else I'd take from La Liga now, actually. We get another 84. La Luke Shaw's duplicate. Come on, give me something. 84 Neves or Saka. We'll take a walkout. Why not? Come on. And the question is, what are you doing? Are you doing premium upgrades or are you doing player picks? What's your fan favorite? The 82s were definitely my, my fan favorite. I feel like they really had something going for them. Um, they just, they produced a lot of fodder. Like, I think out of like 12, I think I got like seven walkouts and two of them being 89s, a couple of 88s. So it was, it, it was very good fodder back. It may not have been team of the seasons, but it most definitely was enough to exchange in again. There is another one. I don't care who it is. We'll absolutely take two team of the seasons. Can we get very lucky to get one more? That would be really greedy of myself as we've only got like four or five left. We take a Dembele. Couldn't have got him last week. We've got three left. Can we get one more? Oh, it's going to be tight. I don't think we're going to get another one. But I'll, I will I will take two, to be honest. I, I think that is not terrible in the slightest from what we've got. And yet we are going to keep with that too. So I wonder if I... Is it if you move them down, do they... Oh, if I go like that and then I move them back up, do they go in order of rating then? I know they've technically got in order of rating there. We can see what we've actually got from 50 of them. Three of them being 85 uh, player picks, which... It kind of does the rating a little bit, but we could take two of them off. So we have got... Oh, we're the wrong way around. So we go back to this way. So we managed to get two team of the seasons. Obviously, a 1991 and a 1992 and then an 85 from the 85s. We managed to get Bernardo Silva, Saka. So we've got two. Then if we go here, three, four, five, six walkouts. Two 85s. A bunch of 84s. Granted, we didn't choose all of them because of duplicates. Then a bunch of 83s, 82s. What do we get? 10. Ooh, so we got 20, give or take. Yeah, 20, I think 20 on the nose, actually. 20, 82, and 81s. I mean, it's less than half. So, and I did not choose all of the 83s. I mean, it's not terrible value. I think two team of the seasons, it may not be the most prettiest, but all of them can go into obvious 89. So if I was to think about it, I got one, two, three, four, five, five 80, well, 89 exchanges. That's 51. We're looking at 102, 202, 253 or no, 255, 255 players divided by eight is what? 80, 160, 240. So, yeah, to be fair, you're not looking terrible for them. Yeah, so you're looking at about 30 picks back. And that's not including any of these. Plus, you could keep some of them if you really wanted to. I'd, I'd say they're not terrible. I, I would say they're, they're all right. I wouldn't say they're absolutely crazy. But you are getting fodder back in. And I think you're getting a good amount of exchange to go back and do it again. Whether you find that you do get more of a, a kind of weight on a certain set. And maybe because they've just been straight out right now, everybody's going into them. It might mean that the low, the drop weight is a little bit lower to start with. It's all conspiracies then. Time of day opening. is It's a rabbit hole to go down. But overall, very happy with them. I think they definitely did them the service. Whether you'd go for a premium instead, I think if you've got a lot of rares, might not be a bad move. You could go into the exchange, do them, any commons and one rare into the player picks. Then you put all of the, the rest of the rares back into the premiums and just keep cycling it around. It's not the worst thing in the world if you do it that way. It's just a bit more time consuming with multiple SBCs having to go back with discards. I like the player picks because I can just go straight through all the duplicates back into any upgrades and we can move on again. So let me know down below what your weight is. What are you thinking? And also what is your best team of the season pull so far? Peace.